What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, tutorials, and merch reviews. Today I have a quick and dirty unboxing of items that I purchased from Premium Bandai. Now usually if you want to purchase items from Premium Bandai you have to use their international site but they don't have all of the products available through the international site. So what I will do is use either my Japanese address which sometimes works, sometimes does not, because Premium Bandai also has limits on a lot of the items that you're allowed to purchase per account. So sometimes I can't do that, but I will also use from Japan or another proxy service online in order to purchase these items. And then generally I will wait a short period of time until I have a whole bunch of items stored at the From Japan warehouse and then I will get those all shipped to me at once here in America. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure I need to do that pretty soon because I have a couple of items in from Japan that I need to get shipped. I've been kind of avoiding it because if you want tracking, shipping from Japan right now is extremely expensive because they shut down the normal EMS services because of, you know, everything that was going on in the world. So I've been having to choose either DHL or another service like that, like FedEx or whatever it might be, or the very, very slow version, which takes two to three months. And on average, for me, it's been taking three months for the boats to get over here with cargo, which is way too long to be waiting for something to arrive. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing because there are several items in here that I have been waiting to actually use. And I have been trying my hardest not to actually get into the box so that I could show you the unboxing on camera. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna swing over here to my handy dandy top down camera. What do you guys think? This is brand new for me. Although I do the same thing over on my tech channel, so it's not that new new, but it's something. These are just a couple of CDs that I purchased from, I believe the fan club. I want to say they were, I just stored them in the box, but these are a couple of basically reprints of CDs that were previously available several years ago. So I decided to go ahead and grab these because I do like having the hard copies of all of the Sailor Moon music. And these are some of the posters that I picked up from a seller on eBay. It was very hard to find these flyers. I mean, they call them posters, but they're actually just flyers that they give out for free in like train stations and the Sailor Moon store and CD shops around Japan, bookstores. You can usually find these convenience stores. A lot of places have flyers. So I purchased these off of eBay for a fair price. Uh, just the three from the Sailor Moon movies, the Eternal movies, that were just out in theaters over there. So I have all three of them. This one came out last, and then these two are from the first movie, so this is the second part. But I think they are beautiful, and I really wanted to frame all three and hang them up here in my collection room. A little bit of spoilers for the movie, so skip ahead if you don't want to see this part. So I'm going to flip these over because they do feature some art from the movies. So here we see what I believe is to be Sailor Moon's transformation. We also have Chibi Moon and Helios. We have Sailor Moon Eternal and Sailor Moon with, oh, they're both wearing white. Of course they are, that's so cute. It's Mamo-chan and Usagi, so cute. We also have Nehalenia, the Outer Senshi, Helios, and, oh, he's on Pegasus, interesting. And then we also have Sailor Moon as Super Sailor Moon over here with the senshi behind her. That's so cool. I wish I could see the movie like right now. Oh, I can't wait. This one features some more screen caps from the first of the two Sailor Moon Crystal movies. Ooh, that is pretty too. So this is a very pretty little screen capture from the movie as well, but we did see this in the trailers. Okay, spoilers are over. Next up, I have some cards. So these are basically trading cards and they came in these cute little folders. So I still have them in the packaging, but um, let's go ahead and take them out. <laughs> Y'all know if something is in the packaging, I'm gonna unpackage it because I like to see my items through and through. Sometimes I'll keep the packaging if I intend to like move them around or package it back up in the future or sell something, but generally, everything gets unpackaged. I'm just that kind of collector. So this very small collection of cards was available on Premium Bandai. I'll put the link 
and the prices down below as usual. This was a pre-order as well. So if you did not pre-order these cards, then you probably would have to find them at a reseller. All right, so we have three pieces to this collection. I will go ahead and start with this one. So this is the Premium Cardis Collection, and this is featuring Sailor Moon Eternal. When I open it, you will see exactly what that collection includes. There's this beautiful art of Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon. Very cute. And we also have six different premium holographic cards, which are normal collector trading card size. So nothing super different there, but these do feature brand new art from Eternal. So we have Super Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon. We also have the Inner Senshi, Mars and Mercury, Outer Senshi, Uranus and Neptune. Venus and Jupiter, and then we also have down here Saturn and who? Pluto. What's on the back of these? I'm curious. I don't want to take them out because I think that they're stored rather well in here. Okay, so the back of them is nothing super exciting. It's just this art, but on the back of the cards. So I'm not going to take those out. The next series is also the Premium Cardist Collection. This is part two, or maybe this is part one. That's part two. But in here we have cool art of all of the Sailor Senshi, all 10. Very pretty, super cute, very nice and clear. This would make a great poster, I think. And on the other side, we have six more cards and these feature all of the Sailor Senshi, the inners. And then we also have this cute screen capture down here, which features them in their school uniforms. I can almost hear the voices as I'm looking at these. These have, oh, that's different art. Let's see. Let's see if I can take one of these off so I can show you. I'm trying not to rip the folder because I think the folder is really pretty. Okay, on the back of these cards, slightly different art. So here we have each of the Sailor Senshi from Sailor Moon Crystal. So there you go, that's what it looks like on the back. And all of them again are holographic. Put that back on there. There we go. I never, I never touched it. Okay, and then last but not least, this is like a bonus giant card. It just comes on a piece of paper. This paper has nothing on the back of it, so not super exciting. I don't believe this one is holographic. It does not look holographic, so no, it's not. And this one, this might be a little harder to get off, but it has different art on the back and I know it does because it shows you a picture right here. Let me see if I can get this off without messing it up. Little rip right there, but nothing big. So here's the back of this card featuring some of my favorites. What's up, girl? So here we have Pluto, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune from Sailor Moon Crystal. And on the front, we have the Inner Senshi plus Chibi Moon, of course. Very cute. It's kind of fun having this like gigantic card for absolutely no reason, but like, what are you gonna do with this? You can't put this in your trading card binder or anything like that, cause it won't fit. So I guess I will just put it in my folder of stationary items from Sailor Moon. There's a couple of big items that I also wanted to show you. So I won't show you those on the top down cam, but I did want to mention them. I got a few different bags from Premium Bandai. These were on sale last year, pretty early into the year too. So I got them pretty early too, and I just have never unpackaged them until now. Sorry guys, <laughs> it's been a while. So this is the first one. It's like a canvas feel to it. So it's a very nice, it's like premium from Premium Bandai. Uh, on the front, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. So very simple. And this is a Bandai product, which is cool. On the back, there is no print whatsoever. This is a simple tote bag. Oh, the inside is nice though. The inside actually has a print. I did not remember that part. So there is a teeny tiny little pocket for your accessories. And then we also have this pretty print of moons and stars and senshi symbols on the interior as well. You can kind of see them when I show you like that. I wonder if the price is on here. Oh yes, okay, so it was 6,000 yen, which is about $60, give or take. This next one is a much bigger bag and that's because it's made like a gym bag. This one also says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon on the front of it and you can tell that it's more of like a polyester type of material. Uh, this one was 8,000 yen, so around $80 or so. Again, these items are usually priced pretty high when they come from Premium Bandai, so that's kind of to be expected. This has a really nice strap on it so you can carry it around with you. There's also a couple of handles so you can loop those around your shoulder. This one features, there's a little side badge right here that says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon and it's also big enough that you could stick a water bottle inside of here. 
Um, the only thing I have in here is beer. So I'm gonna put my beer in this side pocket and hopefully not spill it. <laughs> Luckily it's almost empty. There we go, ta-da, <laughs> it's for your beer. <laughs> There's another opening for a water bottle on the other side and then on the back, we have a luggage carrier. So if you put this on top of your like carry roller luggage that you can bring on a print plane, this will just sit directly on top of your luggage. I really like it when bags include this. So this would be great for travel. Not that we're traveling right now. Oh, well this is cute. Okay, so the inside features pretty much the same print as the canvas bag, so nothing different there. And it also has this cute little bag included as well. So this one snaps into place. Sorry for all the noise. So this is just a little accessories bag. And on the inside, it does come with another strap for your shoulder. So you could carry this around on your own and use it as a purse if you wanted to. That's pretty cool. It smells weird. It smells a little weird. <laughs> okay, also premium Bandai, but I saw this and I was like, I, I need that. I need this in my life. And uh, I'm so excited that I can finally, finally use it. So this is also Bandai branded and this was 9,500 yen, $95. This is a Luna robe because I had to, okay? It's a row and it's very plush. Oh, it's very warm. This is gonna be great for winters here in Colorado. I can already tell. It has a belt so I can tie it. Oh, where'd the belt go? Gotta get it all fixed so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, there we go. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready for my future bath times. This one has, oh, that's so cute. It says Sailor Moon and then there's a little paw print in the middle. Can you see that? It's adorable. There's also a hood on this thing and it has ears. Oh, and there's a crescent. There's a crescent symbol. I love it. Oh my God. I'm just gonna wear this around the house. My husband's gonna be like, what are you doing? And I'll just be like, I'm cosplaying our cat. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, you guys. Oh my God. This is my favorite thing that I've unboxed so far. I love it so much. I love this. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I have to stand up and show you it. Look at this. It's super long. So it goes down to like mid calf, just about mid calf. And it does have a belt so I can tie it. And it has pockets on both sides so I can carry around my cell phone. Oh y'all, I love this. It is, look at this. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. I have to take it off though because it's really hot in this room. Oh, it's staticky. Oh my Lord. How's my hair? <laughs> okay, what do I have left? Oh, okay, I have two more things. Two more, so bear with me. Although hopefully this is as fun for y'all as it is for me, just like sitting down and talking about all these new Sailor Moon items that are actually like a year old. So here we have the next item. These are makeup items that were only sold in Japan, and these are from a brand called Makiage? I don't know how to say that, but... It looks French, I don't know. When I purchased these online, they only had one color left. Hopefully that color is close to mine. I believe that there is a like a cream foundation or something in here. And then this is also like a little touch up thingamabob. So I'm gonna open these and see how much of this is actually Sailor Moon, except for like the packaging. If you're wondering, I got the color that ends in 20. Two zero. Okay, here we have the makeup. And then down at the bottom, there's the pretty piece, the piece that we wanted. Um, I might as well open this up too, cause I am curious about this makeup to see if it's like worth my time or if it's something I should just give away to one of my friends. I might just keep the packaging, we'll see. Okay, so there's the cream makeup and then we also have a cute little fluff. So you can put your makeup on your face. I think this was a bonus item that you would get if you purchased this set on Premium Bandai. This is a little Sailor Moon pocket holder for your makeup. So you can stick your little compact inside of there. It does have, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a print of Sailor Moon on there, like our silhouette. Ah, it's empty. Interesting. So you can always refill this if you wanted to. So this is just the compact and on the front of it, it says Sailor Moon. There's a whole bunch of stars that lead up over to the side and it's all in pink and silver. Very, very shiny as you can see. The back of it, there's nothing on there whatsoever. There's also all of her compacts, which is really cute. So a little hard to see, but I, I'll point them out to you. There's one compact there, her other one. There's her 
third one and then her fourth one. That's cool. Put the makeup right here and put the little foam makeup applicator right there. And let's check this makeup out. Oh, never mind. It's not a cream. It's a powder. Yeah, it's not quite my color, but it's pretty close. So if I mix this with my normal color, I think I could still use it. Um, definitely makes your pores not stand out as much. My pores are crazy, but if you apply this, it definitely makes your pores look a little less obtrusive. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, pretty nice. It's very lightweight. I like that. And this is called the Touch Up. What is this? I don't know. How does it open? Oh, okay, so it's a twist top. Oh boy, what's in here? Oh Lord. Okay, so there's a liquid in there, as you can see. Kind of came out. And apparently this is, it's called Tone Up? Touch Up? So I'm assuming Tone Up. I'll have to translate that. I use Google Translator, but I'm assuming that this is some kind of like a primer maybe. Whoa. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. It seems like a primer. That's my best guess. Feels nice. It's like not super oily or anything. Maybe I need to shake it up. Let's try that. It sounds like I'm mixing up spray paint. Let's see if that made a difference. All right. So there we have our, our this pink stuff, whatever it is. Oh my Lord. Whoa. Yeah. I think that's a primer. That's cool. Okay. It makes my skin feels super soft. And again, this is taking away the pores. It's like making them disappear. So it's definitely like refining your pores, which is cool. And it feels super silky. It's like very silky and smooth. That's actually kind of neat. Okay, I kind of like it. Okay, so whatever this stuff is, which I'm gonna Google before I post this video, that's maquillage tone up. This feature is the same, same Sailor Moon silhouette on the front. And then it also has the same star art, but it's not as, artistic and cute as it is on the palette on the compact. That's cool though. Pretty neat. I think I will use this. This one, I need to look up what exactly this is before I put any more on my skin. Okay y'all, and the last item, and I was so excited about this because I have been meaning to buy one of these for a very long time. There was one on the market already, and then this year they came out with two uh, for Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon, and they also released two more for Uranus and Neptune, so I'm really hoping that they make some for Saturn and Pluto, because I will probably purchase those because Pluto and Saturn are two of my favorite Sailor Senshi. But for now, this is the one that I have purchased, and I hope you love this as much as I do. I chose to purchase because I really like the Japanese culture when it comes to items like this. So this is a Super Sailor Moon, or Super Sailor Chibi Moon Nishijin wallet. Nishijin is a company out of, I believe it's Kyoto, who makes wallets made out of silk material. That's, it's the same kind of material that they make kimono out of. So if you've ever felt a kimono, that's what one of these feels like. I gotta make sure I don't have makeup on my hand from that previous item I just unboxed. Okay, I'm good. So this is the Sera Chibi Moon Nishi Jean wallet. And oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna take that off. So nice and satisfying. So this wallet, you can tell that it's made out of some beautiful embroidery fabric. Some of it is sparkly for the moon, the star. We also have the little crystal Kowloon bell, the crystal carrion bell. We also have Chibi Moon's bell. And then it's kind of hard to see, but that is Pegasus right there. This one also features Chibi Moon's compact and pretty simple design as far as the zipper goes. But this art covers both the front and the back. So it's a full art piece on both sides. Now the inside of this wallet, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal on the inside in some foil print. And on both sides, you have you have a side that can fit like eight cards, which is nice. The center, the interior has a zipper. Oh, that's an interesting little zipper. This is for all of your coins. So you can put coins in there, zip that back up. And then on the other side, pretty much the same thing. There's also a little copyright stamp on the inside as well. Now with Nishi Jean, each of these new wallets, I don't know if the old one comes with this, but the new ones, they also come with a nice little charm that you can put on your wallet. So this charm features the bell again. The bell has a little crescent moon, some feathers are in there. Some feathers go all the way down to the bottom and there's a star in the middle. That's a Adorable, it's so cute. Isn't that pretty? And then you can just put this right there. Whoop. 
You can put it right there on your wallet. Now, the charm is pretty heavy in itself. It's a pretty decent size, so it feels really good in the hand. And then this is a really nice lightweight wallet. However, it is a big wallet, so you would only want to carry this around with like a large purse. I'm going to keep this in the packaging for now until I choose to use it. I do use all of my wallets, but I always keep them in the packaging until then, just to keep them free of dust. Especially here in Colorado, there's tons of dust. Now this came with a card. I'll have to translate that afterwards and see what it says, but it's from Primico. So you can find these over on Primico. They make a lot of really pretty jewelry as well if you're interested in jewelry. So as usual, you can find all of the prices and the links down below if these items are still available. However, many of these are pretty old from last year, so they're probably not still available. If you've been wondering where I was, definitely check out my recent haul of North American goods. I definitely did a whole explainer in that video, but I have missed y'all. So thank you so much for sticking around and for staying subscribed, even though I took a hiatus just to get my life together together after moving out here to Colorado. Comment below if you have any questions and make sure to send me your recommendations for videos in the future so I can definitely cover any items that you want me to cover with regards to Sailor Moon. Thank you again for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Jane.